Hello everyone. In the last class, we studied about parallel lines and transversal. When the two lines are parallel and there is a transversal, suppose these lines are parallel and these are the transversal, and name it as I name the angles as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding. So angle 1 is equal to angle 5, angle 2 is equal to angle 6, angle 3 is equal to angle 7, and angle 4 is equal to angle 8 because they are corresponding angles. Angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and angle 4 is equal to angle 6 because they are alternate interior angles. So, angle 2 is equal to angle 4, angle 1 is equal to angle 3 because they are vertically opposite angles. Angle 5 is equal to angle 7, angle 6 is equal to angle 8, vertically opposite angles. Angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 because the sum of the two angles of on the same side of the transversal is 180. And the 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180. So we studied about corresponding angles, alternate angles, vertically opposite angles, adjacent angles. 3 and 4 are adjacent. 2 and 4 are opposite. 1 and 2 are adjacent. Also, we studied about the complementary angles and supplementary angles. If the sum of the two angles is 90 degree, then it is called complementary angles. What is the complementary angle of 40 degree? 50 degree. What is the complementary angle of 60 degree? 30 degree. Because 60 plus 30 you have to get 90. What is the supplementary angle of 60 degree? Supplementary angle of 60 degree is 120 degree. What do you mean by supplementary angles? If the sum of the two angles is 180, then they are called supplementary angles. So you have to remember, C comes first and S comes next. So C is 90, S is 180. That is how you have to remember. Complementary C, supplementary S, complementary 90, supplementary 180. Did you all understand? Now today, let us study about the angles of property of a triangle. Right from 6th standard you have studied that the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. In 8th standard also you have solved that. Let us solve again. What is of this one? The sum of three angles of a triangle. is 180. So suppose I draw a triangle and A, B, C. I have three angles. Angle A, angle B, angle C. I call it as 180. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180. That's what I have to prove. So let me call this as angle 1, angle 2, angle 3. Then it is very easy for me to so whenever they have given any theorem to prove, what you have to write down? First you have to draw the figure and then you start. What is given? What is given? A, B, C is a triangle. That's all. To prove, what to prove? Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree or angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. That's what I took. Now, let me do, draw one construction. How can I draw the construction? The construction is like this. I draw a line parallel to BC at A and name it as XY. I draw a line xy parallel to bc at a passing through the point a. Right? Suppose I call this as 4 and call this as 5. 
I will say, you understand? So, construction, what is the construction? Construction is draw xy parallel to bc passing through a. Right? Now, what have to do at a? Now, proof it is. Angle 4 at A, angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree. Why? Linear plane, xy is a straight line. xy is a straight line. You know, the sum of the angles of a straight line is 180 degree. So, angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree. That's what I have proved. Oh, oh, that's what I said. Now, angle 4 is equal to angle 2. Am I right? Angle 4 is equal to angle 2. Why? See, Z shape comes. What type of angles? Alternate angles. Angle 5 is equal to angle 3. Why? Alternate angles. So, both these are what? Alternate interior angles or alternate angles. So, now I can substitute. Therefore, instead of angle 4, what can I write down? Angle 2 plus angle 1 as it is plus instead of angle 5, what can I write down? Angle 3 is equal to 1. Is it over? Yes. So, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 oh. So, this is very important theta and you have to try to understand very easily. So, what is the theorem says? The sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Here I have drawn a triangle ABC and name those angle A as 1, B as 2, C as 3 and I say I have to prove Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. I have drawn one construction. What is that? Draw xy parallel to bc passing through a. And name this as 4 and 5. At a, angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 180. Why xy is a straight line. Angle 4 is equal to angle 2. Why? Alternate interior angles. Angle 5 is equal to angle 3. Alternate. I said alternate comes in the shape of Z. Z or root Z. Right? So, now I can substitute in this. Angle 4. Instead of angle 4, I can add on angle 2. Plus angle 1. Plus angle 3. This one you call it as 1. And you can say now, substituting in 1. In 1, we get instead of angle 4, angle 2 plus angle 1, instead of angle 5, angle 3 is equal to 180. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180. So, thus the theorem. Did you all understand? Let us move on to the next one. Let us try to understand the next theorem. If a side of a triangle is produced, then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. See, look at this. If A, B, C is a triangle and B, C is produced with D, then they say angle A, C, D is equal to angle C, A, B plus angle A, B, C. The Exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. See, this is for adjacent angle. So, this is interior opposite angles. So, what they say is, the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. See, so suppose, I let me give an example. If this is 110 and this is 60, how much is this? This plus this should be 110. 60 plus 50 is 110. So this angle is 50 degree. Did you understand? That is the meaning of this. If a triangle is produced, 
then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. This one also we can prove. How can we prove? Last year we proved. See, suppose I name it as A, B, C, D. I call it as 1, 2, angle 3, angle 4. Correct? You can write on given. What is given? A, B, C is a triangle. Side B, C is produced to D. To prove angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. What to prove? To prove angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. Now proof is very simple of this. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180. Why? The sum of the three angles of because sum of three angles of a triangle of a triangle next side I know angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 why linear P right so look at this here also 180 here also 180 so this is equal to this so I can write down angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 3 plus angle 4 3 3 can strike so you want to get angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4 that's what I wanted to do did you understand now what should we do we'll solve some of the problems based on these two theorems now look at the figure the question given is like this if QT is perpendicular to PR QT is perpendicular to PR 90 degree am I right TQR is equal to 40 degree TQR is equal to 40 degree yes PR is equal to 30 degree find X and Y is it very simple to find out? See, look at this. This is 90, this is 90. 90 plus 30, 120. So, how much is this? 60. Because some of the three angles of a triangle. When this is 60, this is 60. Why? Vertically opposite angles. 60 plus 40, 100. So, this is 80. Am I right? If this is 80, I can say, now I will take this term, P, S, R, this is 30, correct? So, this is how much? 80 plus 100, so 30 plus 100, 130, so this is 50. You can find out by any method, but it should be very much correct. See what I did, this is 90. This is 30. So this is 60. 90 plus 30 is 120. So this is 60. When this is 60, this is 60. Why? Vertically opposite angle. This is 60. This is 40. They are given. So 60 plus 40, 100. So this is 80. 180. When this is 80, this is 100. So 30 plus 100 is 130. So this is 50. Understand? So, you can write down in words. So, angle QTP is equal to 90. Angle, name this as O. Angle OPT is equal to 30. Therefore, angle POT is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 30 is equal to 180 minus 120 is equal to 60. So, angle POT is equal to angle QOS is equal to 60 degree. Right? Therefore, Y is equal to 180 minus 60 plus 40 is equal to 80. Right? 
So, angle OSR is equal to 180 minus ET is equal to 100. So, in triangle PSR 30 plus 100, sorry, 180 minus 30 plus 100. So, x is equal to 180 minus 30 plus 100. You get 180 minus 130 is equal to 50. Right? So, you should know how to find out. You can find out by any method, but it should be correct. Is it clear? Let me do one more and I'll stop today's class. Now, our last question of today's is there in the exercise first question it is given like this sides qp and qr are produced to s and t respectively if spr is equal to 135 p qt is equal to 110 find p r q how much is this right Suppose if this is 110, how much is this? 70. Why? This is a straight line. Am I right? 110 plus 70, linear K. So I can say angle PQR is equal to 180 minus angle PQT is equal to 180 minus 110 is equal to 70 degree. What is the reason? Linear K. Am I right? Here also. Angle RPQ is equal to 180 minus 135 degree. Why? Full is 135 or 180. Yes, PQ is a straight line. Right? So, 180 minus 135 is equal to 45. Is it? 10 minus 5, 5. 7 minus 3, 4, 45. So, I can say this is 45. 70 plus 45, 150. So, this is 65. Am I right? So, angle RPQ is equal to 45. Therefore, angle PRQ is equal to 180 minus 70 plus 45. How much? 180 minus 150 is equal to 65. So, this is your answer. So, I hope you understood whatever I did. So, please study carefully about the triangles, the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree, the exterior angle is equal to sum of the opposite and interior angles and solve problems. If you like my video, please share it with others and subscribe. Thank you very much.